Yes sir, yes sir. Hey man, you guys see the title? So you guys already know what's about to go down, man. You guys already know what we about to react to. If you don't know, <laughs> let me tell you. We about to react to Lionel Messi's first training with Inter Miami 2023. I ain't gonna cap y'all. The fact that Messi is in free to little is in freaking Inter Miami, yo. It's a shock to me. I'm not gonna cap. It's a shock to me. When I saw that he was actually gonna sign up with this team, I was shocked as hell, bro. I'm like, what? That's crazy. But hey, man, as long as he's happy, that's all that matters, yo. As long as Messi is freaking happy, that is all that matters. We follow Messi wherever he goes. <laughs> Even if he had to go to freaking a messed up team, bro, we will follow him. Why? Because we love him. <laughs> but yo, man, do me a favor, yo. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. And let's get into the secret reaction video. And let's see what this is all about, man. Hopefully it's entertaining. Because who the heck is this, bro? What are you doing, bro? Why? Why is he doing this, man? This is wrong. This is so freaking... Why? Why? Why are you doing this, bro? No, man. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Why? Oh, my word. right here the background all the phones are out all the cameras are out and they're just here to capture one man but i i also i don't it's an you know opportunity not it's just sad, for you know, messi to capitalize the, is, the commentator actually said that i don't know if it's a commentator but whoever that person is it's actually sad how he said that you know it's like every single person is just here to capture one person we all know messi which is actually true but just at the same time the way he said it yo i just don't like it I don't like the way he said that, you know. I messed with Messi, but hey, man, he shouldn't have said it like that, you know. Everyone is just there to capture one person, and that's Lionel Messi. Like, why why say it like that, you know? Why make other players feel bad? Like, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, he's the GOAT, but come on, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> if I was there, obviously, I was only going to take one person, Lionel Messi, but still, don't do that, bro. <laughs> I also think it's an interesting opportunity, not just for Lionel Messi to capitalize uh, on playing here, but also for the club, all the players that are out there to really show themselves well, give a good account of themselves, and make... He has a point. He has a point. That the standard he has a of Major point. League Soccer has elevated, because it absolutely has. Within the last 10 years, 7 years, 5 years, it continues to grow even as the league expands. And I just think all these players are going to get the opportunity to show themselves as... Players that are growing, players that, you know, if you think about the younger players, the likes of uh, Ian Frey, who's, who started a ton recently, Noah Allen, uh, who's, who's filled in that, at that left back position, David Ruiz in midfield, Benja Kremaski, who shares Argentinian dis uh, descent uh, with uh, Lionel Messi. All these young players true, are going to be given true. a platform, and who knows, maybe they'll be on their way to Europe next. One thing and about Messi, is thing that Messi uh, will try his best to, show to, to make other players also look good. I mean, he's going to do his best to look good. But he is also going to try his best to make his other teammates look good too. You know, that's one thing about Messi. Like, he's going to try to find a way to bring out that talent in you. You know, like, if your talent is hidden, Messi will try to find a way to bring it out. You know, that's why I love Messi, man. And, you know, I wish I could say at some point, I wish I could play with him. But, yo, man, hey. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> that ain't happening. But yo, man, that's why we love Messi. You know, Messi will find a way to bring out that talent out of you. You know, if it's hidden, he'll find a way to bring it out. So, hey, man, shout out to Messi, man. To the world. MLS, maybe since the last time you watched, True. it's gotten a True. lot better. And I think you'll start to see the league grow as a result. The league's done a fantastic job over the last, you know, 10, Ooh. 15 years of really trying to develop uh, youth academies and, and develop those young players to get them up uh, to Major League Soccer. We've seen it all around the league. Uh, the, the famous uh, refrain, play your kids. And yes. we see that all around, all around the league. And it's a beautiful thing to see, uh, to, to show that, you know, if you have the talent, if, if you you know, really dedicate yourself early on with an MLS club, you have an opportunity to make it to that first team. 
And oh yeah, by the way, we can drop in a guy like Leo Messi onto the team, and you can play. You know, you know, a, a brand new, you know, 19, 20 year old, you know, kid coming up through Imagine. The, into the academy Crazy. Uh, can go and play with a guy like Leo Messi. Uh, it, it's really just, it's really, really fun to see and, and interesting to see, right? How that dynamic is going to work. And, and Kieran, one of the things that, that you talked about was sort of the the raising of the standards. What do you think are the things that young players can learn off of Leo? Well, I mean, listen, pretty much everything. He, not not only is he just an unbelievable player, but he's also he's a great leader. Character. Messi you know, is a freaking great leader. Impeccable. Like one thing they will learn how to do is how to work. One thing about Messi, yo, Messi works, yo. He freaking works. He puts in the work. So, hey, man, these players will literally learn how to work. They will learn how to be. You know, how to try to find the ball, how to look for ways to score, how to look for ways to create for other for the strikers to score, you know. Like, they will learn how to be leaders, you know. When you play with someone like Messi, yo, you can learn a freaking lot. Like, you can learn a lot, which is amazing. So, hey, man, people that get a chance to play with Messi, super lucky. They are freaking, freaking lucky. Like, hey, Messi's just a freaking goat, man image as just a human as a human being he seems like he's got a great family um extremely humble um and so yeah i think they're just going to learn huge amounts from from the person first Ooh. and then and then as a player on top um but i mean just look it, it, just levels of skill balance timing power um all of those things he is 100 at and so, you know, these are the things that hopefully, as he starts to train more and more, um, players spot on. He's spot on. And, and learn from them. But I mean, more, as a player, what more motivation do you need at the moment to, to after you know a difficult start to the season? This is Angle really kept a, though. <laughs> a blessing for the team. Hey man, Messi is short, yo. <laughs> yo, they, yo, Messi is freaking short. They making him look so freaking short. Like, it is crazy, yo. They are giants. Golly. They making Messi look like he's a freaking... He's 4'5". <laughs> what the heck? Yo. Is Messi the shortest dude really in the team? A, a blessing <laughs> for the team in, in Sergio and Leo coming. And so, you know, hopefully we mentioned the other day, Chris, about... Nah, nah, nah. I don't think, think he's the shortest. I don't think he's the shortest. In the club. There's you know, no way he's the shortest. Players, uh, respond to that, um, you know, this 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 time of, of the club, and hopefully, yeah, they can they can use it as as motivation and and try and um, you know True. Really step up True. their their game and do everything they can to perform at a, at a high level for the club. And one of the things that interests me from sort of an on-field standpoint is obviously Leo Messi and Sergio Busquets. Hold up, where we sort of can sort of bring him. Sergio Busquets well. is also here. Sort of Oh, this is a force. Sergio Busquets is also in Inter Miami. I didn't know that. I only thought Messi was the one that came. Yo, oh, this is going to be interesting. Yo, the games will. Yo, I can't wait for the. Yo, dang, this will be interesting, yo. Sergio Busquets and Messi again. Hey man, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Players where Sergio Busquets. Oh, really Sergio Busquets! Oh, takes where all the chess pieces are, right? Everything around him. Where the hey, it's around, going down. It's going and down. Messi does that in the attacking third of the pitch. So you have two players that are so good at orchestrating the game. Lionel Messi, obviously, we showed the graphic of all his career goals, but it is going down, assist, yo. I, I can only imagine, you know, the secondary assists that count in Major League Soccer. I can only imagine how many of those he would have had if they were counted in in, in other leagues. He creates so much, but sort of knows. The game is slow for him in terms of he knows how to process everything. He knows what's going on around him. And I do wonder how all the other players around him sort of get used to, oh, this is the run. And if I make the run, the ball will be played into me into the precisely perfect position. And I can then go and score a goal. I, I do wonder sort of what that adjustment period is and how Tata Martino will bring the players along in terms of being on the same, w same wavelength as this genius, this player Ooh, who understands the deep. game at, at every fundamental level.
During the 2008 financial crisis, that the stock the market fell 37 percent. He went in detail. Like, he freaking went in detail. But hey, man, I feel like they will actually learn a lot, man. They will learn a freaking lot because this is messy. They should use it as an opportunity to learn a lot from Messi. Like, they can't miss the opportunity. You're literally playing with a whole freaking goat. You're playing with a, one of the best players in the whole entire freaking world. Like, you need to get, they need to get some knowledge from Messi, yo. Like, they should use this opportunity. Like, hey, man. But, yo, that's crazy. That's it for the reaction, yo. First freaking training with Inter Miami. It looked like it went smooth. He looks happy, which is good. I saw Central Busquets, which is shock. Like, what the heck? I didn't even know he was there. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy. But, yo, man, that's it for reaction, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one.